got a nice fresh Windows Server 2022 server here. So Windows Laps is supported on essentially Server 29 and 2022, Windows 10 and Windows 11, providing they have the April 2023 update on them. So the first thing to do is make sure all your domain controllers are fully updated. Now, I'm going to load in a management module for laps. And let's have a look at the functions and commandlets that make up that module. As you can see, there's a couple of functions and a load of commandlets, but the one that we're going to need to use first is the very bottom one there, update laps AD schema. That one there. So let's run that. Obviously, you need to be logged in as a member of the Gamer Admins group. I always struggle to spell schema. I don't always put too many E's in it. There you go. Now, I'm particularly lazy, so I'm just going to press A for all. You can press yes and, and step through it bit by bit. And then, because I was lazy, it doesn't really show us any output, so we can't really see what it's doing. But if you want to see what it has done, you can run the same command again with the verbose switch on the end of it. And it's already extended everything, but you can see what it's attempting to do. And what it's doing is, is adding a lot of attributes onto um, the computer objects in Active Directory. The schema is just essentially a mapping of attributes to objects. And that's what it's doing. It's adding these extra attributes onto the computer objects. Um, now I'll, sh I'll show you later on a little bit more on what those look like on the computer objects. But for now, let's have a look in Active Directory. And you can see that I've placed my assets in an OU called Acme and I've got my computers and users in there on the test rig here there's, there's only one client one Windows 11 client machine in computers for the, for the sake of this exercise but the next commandlet that we're going to need to, to use assigns the computers in the OU that we're going to tell in a minute the right to be able to manage their own passwords so it's, it's Set laps AD computer self permission dash identity and then the path to the OU or the parent OU that you want to apply these permissions to. Now that will apply to all computers in the top level OU and any nested OUs below it. So if you've got thousands of OUs, you can apply this to the top level. You can apply this directly on the root of the domain if you want to and apply it to every machine in the domain. That's just given us some confirmation that it's applied to that. So it applies to the computers. It's in the computers OU below the Acme OU. So that's our schema extended and we've given the machines permissions to manage their own passwords. Our next task is to create a group policy, a domain group policy, that's going to apply the settings to the computers themselves. Now there's our OU. I'm just going to create a GPO and link it to the computer's OU because it's a computer policy, so there's no point linking it to the user's OU. Give it a sensible name, computer policy dash windows dash laps. And then locate your policy and edit it because it's the first domain it's just uh, giving us some warnings and we need to navigate to computer configuration policies administrative templates system And then we need to look for laps. 
Here we go. I'm just going to click standard to give us a so we can see what we're doing. And these are the configurable policies. Now I'm going to want to apply my Windows lap settings to my domain controllers and back up my DSRM passwords. So I'm going to enable that. Now I want the name of the administrator account that's going to manage. Enable that and put in the username. Now this one actually creates the user, but you'll see that in a minute. So laps.admin, apply, okay. And that's just the client machine, it's not for DSRM. And we're going to store our passwords in Active Directory. Apply, okay. And lastly, password settings will allow us to set a complexity value. Now I'm just going to accept the upper lower numbers, special characters, 14 characters long, and 30 days passwords age. So that's that's the defaults. But this is what it should look like when you have your policy configured correctly. Now bear in mind, as we close that down, we're going to be managing domain controller DSRM passwords as well. So we need to link the same policy to the domain controllers OU as well. Let's close that down. So exit the, your policy editor and jump across onto a client machine. Now, I'm going to manually create the local user on this machine. Obviously, in the domain environment, that's probably not going to be very practical. You either want to roll this out with group policy or via scripting or build that username into your master image. However, you usually create local admin accounts. Remember, it's LAPS admin. If there's a spelling mistake between this and what you set in the policy, it will not work. So it needs to match exactly what you set earlier in the policy. I'm just going to untick that and I'm just going to put a temporary complex password in for now and LAPS will change it. Now I'm going to put that user into my local administrators group. Change the location there so it's not looking in active directory. Laps the admin. Check name and assuming it finds it, it does, it'll underline it. Click OK. And there it is in my local admin script. It's matching, so if I jump back onto my to make a tour. Now, you need to allow a little bit of time for the group policies to apply, etc. So at least a couple of hours before doing the next step. But if I look at my computer object in Active Directory, you see there is a lapse tab. We'll come to that in a minute. But if we go to the attribute editor, remember earlier I said that when we were extending the schema, it was creating a lot of attributes against the computer objects. And here you can see what they are. Uh, they all start MS laps. And you can see that some of these, in fact, have been populated because the, the policy has applied. So they're starting to get used, which we'll see in a minute. But those are the extra attributes that have been added to every computer object in the domain. And when we did the update lap, uh, schema earlier on, that's what that did. So if you go onto the Laps tab, you can see it will show you the admin account and it will show you the current password. You can see 14 characters as long, upper and lower key. Case, numbers, and characters. If you click copy, copy what it'll do is it'll, it'll dump that onto the clipboard. So I'll just demonstrate. I'll just open Notepad here and then do a Control V, and it should dump the password in there. It does. And you don't have to go into the computer object to recover that password if you do not want to, which I'll show you in a minute. But remember, we're managing DSRM passwords as well. So on the uh, domain controller, if you go to LAPS, you'll see it says administrator there because the DSRM account is administrator. And there's the rotating LAPS password for the DSRM for that domain controller. Now you can, if you would like, use PowerShell to recover those passwords instead. 
And the conduit to do such a thing is get labs ad password and then you need to supply oh, Mac keyboard sorry um, you need to supply the name of the machine I think this one was called Windows 11 dash end and you need to specify with a switch as plain text otherwise you'll get the hash and there is the password for that machine that's us done thanks very much for watching and don't forget to come to visit us at www.petenetlive.com <laughs>